Hey y'all, welcome back to another Fall Food Friday. In today's video, we're gonna be making apple cider glazed roasted chicken. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, so here is what we're gonna need. Two green apples, one onion, and we also need some spiced apple cider. And of course, a whole chicken. So the first thing I did was cleaned out my chicken. I didn't video that part because I was, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, I didn't video that part. But I cleaned out the chicken, and now we're gonna cut up our apples and our onion, and we're just cutting them into little, um, you know, slices. All right, so when we get those all chopped up, we're gonna sit them over to the side and bring back the chicken. And now inside the chicken, we're just gonna sprinkle in some salt and pepper. So when we get the salt and pepper in there, then we're just gonna start stuffing the chicken with the apples and the onions. I was a little worried about this combination at first, apples and onions, but it is really, really good. I mean, it gave the chicken so much flavor. I mean, it was just, delicious really really good so we're just gonna stuff the chicken with the apples and the onions all right so when I got him all stuffed I didn't have any Baker's twine to uh, tie the legs together so I took a piece of aluminum foil and you just have to roll it up really tight and then twist it around the legs and kind of um, make it like a pretzel shape so there it is like that and then we're gonna take these other pieces and tuck them down under so it almost makes the full into like the shape of a pretzel and that holds the legs together so just a little tip there for you if you don't have any baker's twine or anything to um, tie your chicken legs together use some full all right so now we're just going to take some butter it's really soft and i'm just going to rub it all over the chicken and then we're just going to put some salt and pepper all over it too All right, so I didn't have a roasting pan and a wire rack, so I improvised. I took one of my deep baking pans and put my little wire rack that came with my Instant Pot inside of there. It fit almost perfectly with the little handles opened up and it worked just fine. So I just took the chicken and sat it on top of that. Now we're gonna stick it in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes. So while that's cooking at 450 for 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and get our apple cider redder, redder, ready. <laughs> All right, so while the chicken's in the oven for the first 30 minutes, we're gonna bring three cups of apple cider to a bowl. And we're gonna let this boil down until there's only about a half a cup of the cider left. So you just let it keep on boiling. And yeah, it makes your house smell really, really, really good. <laughs> it was smelling like Christmas time in the house because of the apple cider. So when the chicken is done the first 30 minutes, we're gonna take it out of the oven and we're going to start putting the apple cider on there. I'm just using one of Titus's little brushes that he uses for uh, when he grills out. But I'm just putting some apple cider there all over the chicken, and then we're gonna stick it back in the oven. We bring the heat down now to just 400 instead of 450. So we bring it down to 400 and put it in the oven for 15 minute increments. So every 15 minutes for three times, we're gonna take it out and rub it down with apple cider. So as soon as I got done doing this, I put it in the oven. 15 minutes later, took it out and did the same thing again until we do it three times. So in total, the chicken will be in the oven after that first time for 45 more minutes. So while I was cooking, Jonah and Aldra were playing in their room with their little blocks and they were playing so sweet. So I wanted to video them. Wait until the end and you will see that they don't always play so sweet. So with this meal, I made some buttermilk biscuits. I have a video on that. If y'all wanna see it, I'll pop up a card and link it down below. But I made some biscuits with it, some mashed potatoes and some steamed uh, carrots and green beans. y'all after the final 15 minute time period the chicken was done so it had been in there for 45 more minutes and we basted it with the apple cider three times total it was so beautiful just look at how pretty it is it looks like when you would buy it like 
Ingles or Walmart, their roasted chickens. <laughs> anyway, it was delicious, y'all. That apple cider gave it a sweet taste, and it was just so very tender and moist. It was so, so good. I will definitely be making this multiple more times because it was delicious. I actually should have gotten two chickens because Titus and the boys, I mean, there was no leftovers. They ate it all, and so I needed to get two. So next time, I will totally do two of these chickens. It was so, so good. So now I want to go ahead and show y'all some of the people who participated last week. First, we have Ann's family recipe. Her and her kids made some granola bites and they were so stinking cute making these. Y'all have got to go watch her video to see her kids. They are adorable. So that was her video. We also had Alicia Bryant who made easy slow cooker vegetable meatball soup. And this looked so good and so easy to do. We're definitely going to be trying this so y'all make sure to go and check out Alicia's video then we had Kimmy from blessed to be mom her and her kids made a pumpkin pie and this totally got me in the mood for pumpkin pie I really think I'm gonna be making one one day this week it looked so good make sure to go check them out and then we have Catherine from Catherine's plate she has so many fun recipes on her channel and she made hoot owl cookies look how adorable these cookies are the kids really want to make these they're so cute I just love them all right and then we had the channel if the creek don't rise I love that channel name I absolutely love it and she made chili mac supreme this looked delicious I totally want to try this too look how good it looks oh my goodness can't wait to try it so make sure to go watch her video and kingdom barbecue catering service miss O over there made wait till y'all see this an apricot nectarine cake or apricot however y'all say it and look how beautiful oh my goodness that looks so beautiful and we also had Stacy from Stacy Laundry Mom y'all she makes me laugh so hard she is so funny so she made some pumpkin ginger snaps and these looked very very easy and very good and we also had Jody from Why So Salty and she made some banana nut muffins and they also looked so very good. I love banana muffins, banana bread. I just love banana anything. Y'all know I love banana ice cream. <laughs> anyway, look how pretty they turned out. So y'all make sure to go check them out. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who is participating in the collab. I absolutely loved watching everybody's videos last week. I cannot wait to see what everybody makes this week. And like I said before, if you didn't participate the first time, and if you don't want to this time, that is totally okay. You can just do one Friday out of the month or all of them, however you want to do it if you want to participate. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to go drink the rest of my pumpkin spice iced coffee and watch everybody else's videos, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Oh yeah, if you want to participate and you need to know how, all you have to do is upload a video about any type of fall food. It doesn't have to like be pumpkin themed or anything like that. Just any food that you eat in the fall. Usually around here it starts getting cooler in the fall, so we go toward more comfort food, things like that. And um, yeah, of course you can do pumpkin stuff if you want to because pumpkin is like everywhere. <laughs> So all you have to do is upload your video and let me know on my video on Fridays that you uploaded a video. So we're doing it, like I said, every Friday of this month of October. So there's two more left. You still have time to participate if you want to. All you have to do is let me know in my video, in the comments on my video on that Friday that you uploaded a video. And you don't absolutely have to upload it on Friday. If you want to upload it earlier in the week, that's totally fine. Um, and then I'll just link it, um, add it into the playlist. So that's all you have to do. All right, now, coffee, watching YouTube. Love y'all, bye. Hey, y'all. All right, y'all, think, okay. All right, so, all right, guys. All right, y'all. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, if you didn't... Pre oh, it's okay. We'll... Mom will fix him in a minute. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm making the biscuits for supper. I'm also making enough for breakfast in the morning. That way, we have... What are you doing? The jelly biscuits would be good. Good with me. Just slap some jelly. Light berry jelly on them bad boys and some butter. So I'm making the chicken for fall food. For, okay.
Titus and the Titus and the boys aren't going to be home for Titus and the boys aren't going to be here for mashed potatoes and biscuits. I decided on biscuits instead of the rolls, so 